Um, this reading is going to be for the week of June 4th through June 10th. Um, okay, so the cards are already out because I got into the reading and realized that I was not recording. So um, I just laid the cards out and, and here they are. Of course, I always shuffle and pray over the cards and meditate off camera and I shuffle on camera a bit too just so people don't think I'm just throwing them out um so let's get into it okay what I pulled for home was the seven of swords what I pulled for work is the king of pentacles what I pulled for relationship is the three of heart three of swords excuse me what I pull for the outcome, the death card. What was on the bottom of the deck, the high priestess. All right, so let's get into it. This is for home. Home. All right, so if you live with someone, um, whether you're in a relationship or you live alone, excuse me, you're in a relationship where you have roommates or you're in a living situation where there is not just you, there are other adults. Um, somebody's trying to leave. Either this is you, Gemini, or this is another person or your partner. As you can see, this guy has it's seven swords, but he's going to crep off with five and left two because he don't even care. He's trying to leave. Um, we'll clarify this. Uh, but this is surrounding your home. Whether it's you trying to leave a home situation um, that just isn't working out for you anymore. Let's say you're in a crappy home, crappy apartment, and you just going to break the lease. You ain't even going to do it in the correct fashion. You're just like, whatever, I got to get out of here. You know, it's someone moving away from this situation quickly, swiftly, not caring. All right. And then work. We got the King of Pentacles. If this is Earth energy, this could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, this could be you. You could be embodying some of this energy. This is always a good energy to have in work. The King of Pentacles is, of course, at the highest suit of Pentacles. Uh, he's mastered it all. Um, definitely mastered money. Pentacles. Um, King of Pentacles governs everything earthly. Um, this might be a boss because the King of Pentacles is not having it no other way. They need to be the boss. They, you know, this is this is it. This is a person who is financially fit also. A little stubborn, but all in all, pretty much a, a, a good a good card to pull, especially in work. And we'll clarify once again. In relationship, we have the three of swords. Mmm. Yeah, I, I can't sugarcoat this. We had a three of, three of swords in relationship. As you can see, there are three swords piercing a heart. Uh, Gemini, it ain't working out. And then for me to see this surrounding the home, somebody's trying to leave. We had a three of swords. We got a lot of air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or someone of that sun sign or has it in their charts, rising, moon, ascendant. I don't know. You know, this is this is a... And then the outcome, the death card. Honestly, I would say, it were, it, and it's so straightforward, but at the same time, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking because, you know, it's heartbreaking. You can't, you can't sugarcoat it. You got somebody trying to leave sneakingly. They care nothing about how they're doing it. They took what they could. You in your work sector, surrounding work, you're good money wise. You're good with the things that govern work or you know earthly possessions, practicality. Practicality. Hmm. You're good here, but then in relationship, it's some heartbreak. I don't want to outrightly say this is a three party situation. A lot of people do that with the three of swords. But we'll pull some clarifying cards and we'll see if the cards surrounding this speaks to three, three party relationship. But then the outcome is death, a situation ending. The number 13 is gone, it's done, let it die. But it looks like somebody trying to leave anyway, whether it's you, Gemini, or someone else. 
um, there's a little heart, there's some heartbreak surrounding this whole situation, whether it's you getting your heart broken or you breaking somebody else's heart. The outcome, the outcome is death. You leave it. You, it's done. It's, it's been dead. It's gone. It's action now. It's either action and thought and in heart, but it's some action. It ain't no good action. Let's pull up some clarifying cards. Let's also keep in mind we have the high priestess on the bottom of the deck. So the high priestess, the high, she, her intuition is at its highest. So she probably already know that this is happening. She already know that the partner is trying to leave or Gemini, you're trying to leave. Maybe your partner already knows. The high priestess can easily move between both realms, the spiritual and the physical. Um, their intu intuition is at an all-time high. It's the highest you can get in, in your intuition. Um, pretty much this situation is apparent to everybody in it. All right, so let's pull us some clarifying cards. Um, let's pull us some clarifying cards on, first of all, let's ask God, uh, you know, let's ask the God of the universe, the highest God, um, who is the seven of swords surrounded? Is it Gemini's energy? Is it the partner's energy? What is it surrounding? What is it governing? We know it's in the home sector. What is going on? Is it going to be uh, a better outcome? God, please give us some clarity, some a guide to this. We we need we need to hear from you. We know that you'll move through these cards, and we thank you. So we can get some clarity and some some guidance around this situation because we're tired of being in the dark. You know, you know. I'm not even a Gemini, but I, I feel you. I would be tired of being in the dark with this situation. If somebody was trying to leave sneakingly. Or it might be you, Gemini. You know, I don't know. You might be trying to get on. Get gone. All right. Queen of Wands. Mmm. Action Queen. She's definitely taking action. Um, she has the really good ideas. She's she's a mover. She doesn't just think of something and not move. This is an action queen. She moves. So she thinks of it, whatever it may be. And then she moves on on it. Let's see. This And this could also be a fire sign person, male or female. That's uh, Aries, Sagittarius. Uh, uh, what did I say? Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So somebody's trying to leave this situation. Gemini. Let's see. Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Maybe this is you taking action, Gemini. Um. Maybe this is you. Your energy is not here. Uh, it might be the energy of your partner or someone you're living with, someone you're in a situation with. Whatever situation it is, if it resonates with you, it resonates. If it doesn't, leave it alone. Um, but even in all of this happening... The, the wheel of fortune is there. With you leaving or the other person leaving, you get some good luck. They get some good karma. They have the wheel of fortune there. Let's pull a clarifying card on the three of swords. King of wands. Woo. All of this fiery energy. Mm, mm, okay. So, so, Gemini, you're definitely dealing with a fire sign. Um, We got the queen and the king this is definitely a relationship uh transmute the 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 energy the the female male energy to however it fits for you but you got some heartache surrounding probably this fire sign trying to sneak out and leave but even in them leaving you or ha or them might have some some good karma we're gonna say it's you you're going to have some, 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 the Wheel of Fortune is going to turn in. Uh-uh. That one wanted to come out. Two of Swords. Mm. More air energy. So you got a choice to make. Maybe this, this, this fire sign has a choice to make. Whatever it is, it's heartache. It look how it goes from sword, three of swords, okay. Actively stabbing somebody in the heart and leaving. 
or or planning to leave, being very cold in your words. Um, then here's the energy. So it's a fire sign energy. And then it jumps right back to sword energy. So either Gemini, you're hurt and you're hurt over this fire sign. And it's 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 forcing you to choose to cho make a choice, but you're not making the decision. Two of swords is, is um contemplation. It's knowing that you need to make a decision, but there's no they ain't the two of wands. Two of wands would be you know, moving forward with whatever decision. This is two of swords. It's all mental. God, can you tell us what this death card is about? Uh, ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Lord. Okay, so death card flipped out ten of swords. So, of course, this is agony. This is this is a person done. I am done. I am done and I'm finished. I Put a fork in me. Put a sword in me. This is a person who's done. And it lies on the death card. Gemini, even though this situation is causing you heartache and heartbreak, you are done. You are done and finished. You're like whatever and you're ready to move on to the next phase. And it, it might have something to do with this will of fortune. Somebody's trying to sneak out of the home. It's that fire energy again. Um, even with them leaving, and you have some good fortune with them leaving. Um, over here in the outcome, yes, the situation, relationship, situationship, whatever you would like to call it in your life, you're done. You you stick a fork in you. You don't care anymore. It's like whatever. I'm done. Whew. Some heavy energy. Let's see. If we can get any more energy as far as if we can get some um, some more court cards and, and determine who is doing what and how. But even in all of this, Gemini, you already knew it. You're the high priestess. This is what governs the whole situation. You already knew it. You felt it. You felt it. It was like, mm, all right, feel this coming to an end. Either you were leaving or the other person was leaving. And uh, but you're done with it anyway. You like I don't, at the at this point, you're at the highest level of being done, of being pissed off, of being hurt, of being swords, all the sword energy, seven of swords, uh, three of swords, two of swords, ten of swords. Just you know, you up in your head about it, trying to sneak. Somebody trying to sneak off. You had to make a decision. It's just, it's just crazy over here. It's just, and, but even in all of the chaos, your money's still good. You already seen it coming. You knew it was coming. And you're done. You're done mentally, which could translate to physically. Because that could be you, the seven of swords. You're done. It's like, um, I don't want this situation anymore. This is happening this week. It's going to be the energy of this week. Next week, it could already happen. Um, don't try to time stamp tarot. Tarot. Let's see. Mm. Two of hearts. Success in a relationship. That just threw me for a loop. Right there. Mm, I don't understand that. Let's see where we're going with this. Two of so two of hearts sitting on the death card. Maybe after you being done and you're just moving on mentally, you can now have success in a relationship. Because even with this situation, this, this little situation right here, over here surrounding home, you pull the wheel of fortune. So maybe once you just move, work through this energy, this negative energy of being heartbroken, making it happen, make a decision, you'll get some success in a relationship. Wheel of fortune there. Let's see. Let's pull. Mm, this, uh, I don't know. My hand didn't want to take that one. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right. What I say? Ten of hearts. Good luck. Some happiness, highest level of of happiness. When you pull two tens, ten on ten. 
All right, it's exactly what I said. Once you let this, mm, another two, one to pop out. All right, two of diamonds, a love affair, um, business relationship. One to pop out. I'm gonna put that there. Get all of that in here so you can see the whole spread. Oh, wow. Okay, so Gemini, once you you work through that energy, but then you have a love affair. Well, maybe it's you trying to leave because you got somebody and you breaking somebody hard and you had to think about it and you had to make a decision. But when it's, you do have a lot of tubes, tube, tube, tube. You got, Mm, maybe it's you or somebody else. You trying to go. You trying to go from this fire sign. You trying to get out of here. Mm. Gemini, I think it's pretty straightforward from here right now. Um, for whoever this resonates with, it's strictly air energy and fire energy. So whoever you you're dealing with, and, and we have some some hearts on the table too. So you might be dealing with a water sign too that could translate into water sign too. Once you let this situation go with this air sign, um, you can possibly excuse me with this fire sign, you'll possibly find some success in a in a relationship or with yourself. But you'll be at the highest level of happiness right now. It doesn't look like or doesn't seem like you're happy. Um, the high priestess can signify birth or be, can be a, a, a um, indication of someone being pregnant too or giving birth. But I don't see any other cards here that say that. Hmm. Well, Gemini, what you know what I be saying? I know that it's not good in, uh, good English, but you know what I say. When in doubt, pray. Pray to whoever it is you believe in. Um, Gemini, I look forward to seeing you in a personal reading. Um, you can always contact me at tarotofl at gmail.com. All the information is in the description box. I thank you for visiting. Everything's going to turn out well. It is. You know, you're probably like, what? But once you work through this energy, this negative energy, the heartbreak, the swords, the mental, this is where you get into success in a relationship, the highest level of happiness. You might have a love affair going on. Or your partner might have a love affair going on. Or a business situation that's not approved of. A love situation that's not approved of. And that's what's causing all this two of swords and three of swords. And somebody trying to leave. Anyway, let it be dead, Gemini. Thank you for tuning in. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you and take care. Peace and blessings.